Welcome to this 20-minute flow. This practice is designed to provide a full body workout to stretch and strengthen your body. Grab a mat, find a peaceful place, and remember you can always make modifications. This is your practice, and I am so thankful that you are here today. Let's start today's practice in a downward facing dog. So go ahead and tuck your toes underneath, press into your hands and lift your hips nice and high. Feeling a nice stretch through the shoulders and the back of the legs. You can bend your knees walking out this dog, one leg and then the next if you want. Making sure your head is hanging heavy, your back is nice and straight. Inhale and exhale. Feeling that diaphragm expand and contract with each breath. Bending the knees, walk the feet up towards the hands. Root to rise, inhale, reach up tall and bringing thumbs to heart center. First sun salutation, inhale, reach tall, swan dive down. Let head hang heavy, walking out the legs as you are in this forward fold. Good, we're going to breathe, bring hands to shins, half lift, and exhale down. Pressing back into a high plank, lowering down, knees, chin, chest. Pressing up into a cobra pose, and releasing down, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog once again. Inhale and exhale. Pressing down into the mat, feeling that stretch through the back of the legs. Continuing to breathe here, bending the knees, walking the feet in towards the hands. Root to rise, inhale, reach, and thumbs to heart center. Inhale, swan dive. Good, half lift and lowering down. Walking back one foot and the next high plank. Low through caterpillar or chaturanga to upward facing dog and then press back into a downward facing dog. For the rest of your practice, you can choose whether you wanna go through chaturanga or a caterpillar. Go ahead and walk up to the top of the mat. Root to rise, inhale, reach tall and thumbs to heart center. Good. Inhale, reaching and diving. Hands to shins, half lift and release down. Walking back, high plank, lower caterpillar or your chaturanga. Flowing through your cobra or upward facing. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing. Inhale and exhale. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bring it all the way up through your hands and finding warrior one. So your left toes are facing the left upper corner of the mat and hips are square, shoulders are down. Inhale and exhale down. Good, pressing that right leg back, finding a high plank. Once again, holding this plank, inhale and exhale. Breathing here. Releasing down. Knees, chin, chest, or chaturanga, upward facing or cobra. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog once again. Left leg lifts, three-legged dog, and bring it up through the hands. Warrior one, other side, right toes face upper right corner of mat, shoulders and hips are square. Dive down, pressing left leg to meet right, high plank, good. This time bringing left leg up and then right root to rise. Inhale, reach tall and thumbs to heart. Flowing again, inhale down. Half lift and release. Hands to mat, walking back one leg and the other. Chaturanga or caterpillar, cobra to upward facing. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing. Right leg lifts nice and high, bringing it up through the hands. Reaching tall once again, warrior one. Nice long stretch here through the back of the leg. Shoulders and hips are square. Go ahead and bring your hands to your hips and you can bring that back leg in slightly. Straighten front leg and find your pyramid posture. 
It may help to use blocks here or simply rest your hands on your shin or the mat. Breathing, shoulders away from ears. A nice gentle stretch through the back of the legs. Bending the front knee. Slowly coming out of this pyramid posture, reaching tall and releasing back down. Right to meet left and knees, chin, chest or chaturanga, upward or cobra. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Opposite leg lifts, bring foot between hands and reaching tall, square hips, square shoulders, dropping shoulders down. Bring hands to hips, bring back leg in slightly and straighten the front before coming into your pyramid pose on the other side. Fingertips to block, to leg or to mat. Inhale and exhale. Continuing to draw the right hip back, keeping your legs nice and square here. Let the head hang heavy. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Releasing the head, bending front knee and reaching tall. Good, warrior one, diving down to mat, bringing back leg to meet front, forward fold. Good, finding that forward fold, walk it out for a second before coming up and thumbs to heart. Inhale, swan dive down. Half lift once again and release down. Hands to mat, walking back one leg the next, high plank. Lower chaturanga or caterpillar, cobra or upward facing. Good, tucking toes, lifting hips, downward facing. Inhale and exhale here. You should start to feel that you can come a little bit deeper into this downward facing dog every time we do this. Right leg lifts nice and high. Feeling that nice deep stretch in three-legged dog. Holding here, pressing the mat equally away. And then go ahead and bring foot up between hands. Externally rotate back leg and finding yourself in a warrior two. Reaching fingertips to the front and back, shoulders are pressed down. Now straightening the front leg, begin to tip forward into your triangle posture. Once again, that bottom hand can rest on a block or on your leg or simply to the mat. Keeping chest open, shoulders aligned. Inhale and exhale. Coming up, bending front knee, Virabhadrasana two. Hold, cartwheel arms forward, bringing back leg to meet. High plank through chaturanga or caterpillar, cobra or upward facing, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Good, left leg lifts. Hold this three-legged dog here for a moment, feeling that nice deep stretch. Bringing foot between hands, rotating back leg and opening up the arm and the chest. Warrior two. Breathe, pressing down the shoulders, opening the chest, coming deeper into this posture before straightening the front leg and finding triangle. Opening top arm, feeling the stretch through the hips, through the hamstrings. Nice side stretch. Good, coming out, finding warrior two once again. Shoulders are pressed down. Reaching before cartwheeling arms forward, internally rotating back leg finding high plank and coming through your flow. However you wanna to get to downward facing dog, then bending the knees, walking the feet towards the hands, root to rise, inhale, reaching tall, and thumbs to heart center. Inhale and swan dive down. Half lift and release down. Hands to mat, walking back. Good, high plank. Lowering through chaturanga or caterpillar, cobra to upward facing. Tuck 
walking toes, lifting hips, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, feeling that nice stretch. Excellent. Bringing knee up all the way through, finding high lunge, reaching nice squared off hips, shoulders are square, reach it tall. And we're gonna go through some big circles here. So reaching forward, opening up the chest, reach it tall, reaching forward, opening up, good. Two more times, forward and release up. Last one, reaching forward, release it tall, hold high lunge and diving hands down. Bringing right leg tall, three-legged dog, knee to chest for four, reaching tall, knee to chest, exhale, and inhale, and exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale, good. Hold and release, downward facing. Breathe as you roll through high plank to chaturanga or caterpillar, cobra to upward facing, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing. Left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Hold here for a moment and then bringing foot between hands, finding high lunge on the other side, hips are square, reaching tall, shoulders are pressed down, Good, we're gonna go again, four big circles with that upper body. So reaching forward, open tall. Exhale forward, inhale reach. Exhale, inhale nice and tall. And exhale reach forward. And inhale, bringing it up. Beautiful, hold. Diving down, hands to mat. Left leg, three-legged dog, sweep it up nice and high, feel that stretch. Knee to chest, exhale, and inhale for four. And knee in, extend for three. Exhale, inhale, last one. Exhale, knee to chest, inhale, reach it tall. Hold and dropping leg, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Round through ocean wave, flow through upward facing or cobra to press back to downward facing dog. Bend knees, walk feet in towards hands. Root to rise, reach it tall and thumbs to heart center. Inhale and swan dive down, half lift and lower, hands to mat, walking back one foot and the other. Good, high plank to chaturanga, to upward facing, to downward facing. Good, right leg lifts, hold, stretch, breathe, and then bring it all the way through into your pigeon. Now it may help to put a blanket or a block under your right hip, making sure that your hips are nice and square keeping shoulders and chest square and slowly when you're ready to come into a reclining pigeon to the top of the mat you can breathe here inhale and exhale feeling your hips begin to open to release the stress that you hold good continuing to breathe Slowly press the hands by the chest. Press upper body up, bending the back leg, pressing through the right hand and reaching with the left. Swan, open the chest into this back bend. Continuing to inhale and exhale, letting the hips drop down. Tucking back leg under, rotating, and then go ahead and swing that left leg around the right, finding a cross-legged position with the left hand at the bottom of the spine and the right crossed over your left leg, come into a seated twist. Breathing here. 
continuing to look over the left shoulder. We'll go ahead and slowly come out of this twist when you're ready, swinging the top leg out and around and pressing back into downward facing dog. Shoulders away from ears, feeling the stretch. Inhale and exhale, nice long downward facing. Left leg lifts, three-legged, and then swing through all the way into your pigeon once again. So hips are nice and square, shoulders are aligned, and when you feel ready, go ahead and slowly come down into your reclining pigeon. Feeling the hips gently begin to open as you breathe here, inhale and exhale in this posture. Releasing that left hip open. Shoulders are away from the ears, creating a nice long neck. And slowly start to press back up. Tucking the back leg behind you, pressing into left hand, reaching with right. Flying swan, opening the chest, in this nice back bend. Releasing right hip down, left hip, bringing that leg out and around, crossing on top, and then twisting to the opposite side. So right hand is at lower spine, left arm is on the outside of the right leg, opening the chest, looking over right shoulder. Good, slowly come out of this twist, swing all the way around, Pressing both legs back, finding your downward facing dog once again. Inhale and exhale. Breathing here. Bend your knees, coming to table, and then go ahead and swing the legs around, bringing them into the front of the mat. Finding a posture here on the back, opening up the legs, Happy baby, so grasping the outer edges of the feet, opening up the hips and rocking gently side to side. Continue to breathe here, feeling that nice hip opener. Good, release the legs up nice and tall. So you can keep your feet up in the air here. This is with your hands underneath your sacrum. Or if shoulder stand is in your practice, you can come with me into this posture. So swinging the hips up nice and high in the air, bringing your hands to your lower back, feeling that nice stretch through the shoulders, the back. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Hips are nice and tall, reaching the feet up towards the sky. And then slowly begin to roll down to the mat, finding a reverse child's pose. Gently rocking side to side, feeling that nice massage in the lower back. Releasing the legs one at a time. Our final posture of the practice, Shavasana. Letting the shoulders open, chest relax, palms facing the ceiling, hips are open and resting, feet are relaxed. Letting the lines around your eyes and your mouth and your forehead relax. Inhale and exhale. And breathe. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Coming out of the Shavasana. Maybe stretching your arms up and over your head. When you're ready, rolling over onto one side. Pausing here for just a moment. 
and then begin to come up to a seated posture. Three big breaths. Inhale, reach, and exhale down. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale nice and tall, and exhale down. The secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Socrates, thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.